What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Drop It Hits back with some 60 Days in Narco Land Episode 1. Finally, this is what we've been waiting for. So, I'm not going to do any kind of long intro or anything like that. I just want to get right into it. I know you guys are excited. I'm excited. So, let's drop right into it. Can't spot a dumbass yet. The intel we learned at the end of the program will help us push the cartel out of our community. I doubt it. We may it. be outgunned, we may be underfunded, but we're going to take the fight to the cartel and we're going to win this. I don't see how. If I die, I'm a legend. What? <laughs> Meet our first participant, Charlie. Why are they always doing a slow I'm motion about to go shave? The jail facility to assist with an investigation. I'm learning about drugs inside the jail and also on the outside too. Oh, he's going inside the jail. Okay. So he won't be undercover. I think you're going to be fine. I think the best thing to keep in mind is that um, we're always going to be watching you. Uh, so we always know what's going on. But if you ever do feel like you need to talk to us right away, you can give us the signal uh, by putting your hands on the back. They already know that. You can't do that. As as we can. Understood. Thanks. But the other dangerous part is understand this is a facility where we ran two seasons back to back. Oh, Robert. Two days in. That what was Robert doing? comes into that jail that sometimes inmates are already suspicious. What are they going to do, just move them in? Undercover participants out in the street could be in danger because they're going to be living it real time. They're not going to have anyone watching them and there's no emergency signal. Oh, we got another Jackie. <laughs> this is gonna work I know this world because for a little while I was selling drugs in a strip club pills and I was selling coke and weed oh she about that life and then I got busted selling drugs on a felony charge so that's when um, things kind of turned around for me couldn't bring my gun but I got a Louisville slugger thank God my biggest Somebody thing is come in with guns touch can't my do nothing things, with that try to steal from me that's my biggest thing i will snap and i don't like not having my weapon with me i know we are making progress it's still a long road but we're doing the right things and we're doing what it takes to make the community y'all haven't place. even made a dent in the drug war it's been going on since the 80s the 70s what was that the war on drugs it's a failure He come outside with the gun. Oh my God. Two guns. <laughs> That's just a pistol. Yeah, oh, he want to show off on the camera. Redneck love guns. Bullock County's not a bad county. The drugs and everything you're all filming about is everywhere. My husband is the best drug user ever. He never missed a day of work. I wouldn't say I was the best drug user ever. <laughs> what? I was a functioning drug user. How are you the there best drug well, user ever? Better, better. So my what? dad shows up at the house and he totally brings this little bitty Derringer over <laughs> and he says to Lee, either you go with me or you're going to the graveyard. So y'all really want to find a uh, main drug supply? Check out the It's down the road, so it's Man, he's straight bad. snitching. I'm going to leave it at that. I can't come out and say it. You already did. Wow. What do you mean? A huge New York City newspaper. I had to be aggressive every single day. Oh. And <clears throat> she gonna be asking too many questions. Me. So, yeah, going into the jail and having to kind of bite my tongue and not feel like everybody's life story is my business. She's not gonna be able to. Which you're a reporter. I normally do. You're nosy. You know, it's 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 not my personality. Like, I don't remember them getting dressed before they went in. 
just kneel on the chair. Unless it's part of the cover story. I've always been curious about if I could make it in prison. There you are. Are they going after somebody? A white Cadillac, Illinois plates. This car is just flying. Got him. 65 northbound, two miles south of the Brooks exit. Good change, Mike. Soon. Huh? Okay. All right. All right. Um, well, he you know, ready? Ah, right, damn! Trigger happy? Never. If I run your license, then you have been in trouble. So we got issues. Okay, well you been in trouble? Oh. Kidnapping what? Hang loose just one second, okay? Skirt. This is a pretty decent car. Neither one has driver's license on them. The one's been arrested for kidnapping. The one's been arrested for a gun. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. I said it. I said, screw I knew it. Yo. <laughs> oh, okay. Screw that. Man, we're up here, uh, come up on the water, so now I don't see him. They out. <laughs> they got away. Well, damn. <laughs> they got away. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. We're trying to determine how fast they're going. We're trying to determine how fast the traffic is. Man. Is it raining? So, all you those just things suck come car into consideration. Chasing. So, it, it, it happens. I don't know. Hey, you know. I would say we we get them most of the time when they take off, but there's that percentage of time like this where you don't, they just obviously. take the right turns and get away. Okay. So they're doing it like they were transferred from somewhere else. As a reporter, I feel very comfortable asking questions. Don't do it. Anybody Don't do it. Friend? Unless it happens naturally in a conversation, I can't just be like, tell me where the drugs are coming from and selling on the street. I was freaking out. Uh oh. I'm not going to get out. Is he going to hit this already? Oh, I thought he was going to hit this already. Yeah, it's a little rough in this hood. <laughs> I can't tell. I haven't so seen anything go I on yet. I was outside talking to a couple of the neighbors. Like, everybody wants to know everything. What is that? Somebody already trying to kick in her fucking trailer? So, I'm about to finally go to bed, but I keep hearing some noises outside my trailer. So I got the slugger. Blair Witch. Better put that damn camera down. That's an uneasy feeling knowing if one of these, you know, meth heads come in here. I have no idea what they have on them or what they're capable of. They want that dope. I know he gotta be hurting. I thought they put you in another pod before that. So, something about to happen. Is he hit in distress? Already, man? Come on! Come on, my dude! Why? Messing them now. How are you gonna make it in the pod, man? I was sitting there in the junk tank. And a guy walked in, a kid that I know I've arrested before on the border, oh. and he looked right at me. And all I need is for this guy to point out to them That's that hey, man, this guy might be law enforcement. This I recognize this guy. Holy Damn. Damn, so there it is. Episode one. Season six, or should we call it Narcoland? Because they're not really calling it season six. We'll just call it Narcoland. 
Episode one, Narcoland. How you gonna let the car you pulled over get away? Takes off and you can't even stop. Have you not been in a car chase before or something? I can't. I can already tell. I'm not gonna be able to stand that dude. He just he he comes off as a as a dumbass. That's all I'm gonna say about that. And I don't know how well this chick's gonna blend in at the trailer park. So we'll see how that goes. And I thought dude was already gonna tap out. Like, damn, dude, you just got there, man. Calm down. You look like you can hold your own. So we'll see how it goes, though. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know we've been waiting for this. And I really hope you guys enjoy it. Be sure to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. I may be live streaming the whole episode on Twitch later. I'm not sure yet. But if I do, make sure you don't want to miss out. So go ahead over there. Give me a follow. That way you can be notified if I do. That way we can watch the whole episode. Link is below in the description. Yeah. Can't wait till next week for episode two. I know you guys can't wait either. It's kind of sucks because it's only going to be one day a week right now. That's the way it is. So I'll be doing other things. So just be on the lookout for other videos. I'm going to finish up season four though. And then I'll be moving on to other shows. I'll probably be doing live PD. So be on the lookout for that. Um, I love you guys. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next video.